I got some ooh here. You know what's going on. It's my birthday month. As you know, it is Breast Cancer Awareness, so, you know, take care of them, too. I got a new shirt by Future. Ooh. Ooh. I got a new shirt by Future Glass. He did it. It's the Juice Show. Very nice. He be hooking me up, you know. And I got some booskies here. Introduce yourselves. It's G Smith. Say it louder. It's, oh, my bad. It's Say G. it louder, Bookie. Ha <laughs> ha, it's G Smith in the building. What up, though? All right, and what up? Let's go, let's go. It's the Ace and Soul homie, Kennedy Aculiano. All right, you know, my show is all about the juice and what's going on in the heart for bringing new people here for the platform. So, you know, let them know what y'all do, and then we're going to get into the conversation because there's a lot of stuff to talk about in the hip hop situation. Uh, I rap, I produce. Um, I do a little bit of DJing, uh, I distribute, um, I basically do a lot, anything, almost anything that's music related, mix and master, engineer, all that, you know what I'm saying, I got my own studio, whatever the case may be, so that's what I do. Alright, and that's what you doing, what you be doing, honey? What I do, I'm a rapper as well, I don't, I don't like to say rapper, I like to say visionary artist, you know what I mean? Um, other than that, um, I give back. I change lives. For me, I've been in every situation possible. Not every situation possible, but the hurtful ones in the urban city. Yeah, I've, I've been there. I've done that. So. All right. And since we talk about that, let's talk about that case that the lady, the cop, got the ten-year sentence. Uh, you know what her name is, Mr. Henny? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Amber Gardner. Amber Gardner. We're gonna be talking about her today. And. Um, how it is like what we have a lot of people that's in our community and I see a lot of black men they get 10 years for different type of stuff like stuff like that but this lady comes to somebody house and she shoots a person in their own home and only gets 10 years how do you guys feel about that um, as far as because I looked into it mm -hmm. um, and I just, I, it was, it was just funny to me. It was funny to me. No matter what, how I look at it is, no matter what, I feel like she was supposed to, she, she, there's no possible way she. Do you think that, that, that black people right now, this like, I look so high yellow in here. I'm browner than this. But do you think that right now black life really doesn't matter? Like our life is at, um, we have no value. You get what I'm saying? Like, and then the brother, he hugs her and says, oh, I I don't want you to go to jail and da 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 But when it's a person, you get what I'm saying, that shot a black person in the hood, the per they don't care. Ain't no forgiveness. They put you behind them in jail. So you think that when it comes to black people hurting themselves um, or, or like being against each other, it's okay? But when other other race does it to us, we're supposed to accept that and be like, oh, we forgive them and move on. Cause this lady got ten years. Mm, yeah. I know somebody that got caught with a gun. I got. You get what I'm saying? There's no evidence, like on and or nothing. This lady was he was in his home. Yeah. All the evidence was there, and they gave her ten years. Yeah. I just think that's a big issue. It is a big issue. It's a big issue. Um. And it's hard because it's all on the person. It well, you know, because when you go to court, you're dealing with a judge. So it, it really does depend on a lot, a lot of people don't want to sit there and say it doesn't depend on the judge, but it do depend on the judge. It does, know? and the judge looked like she was a friend. And the point, the part, depending on like the, um, like the, their, their personality, however they feel about race or equality or human beings on this planet or whatever the case may be, like. There's a judge, I know a judge right now that's giving drug dealers football numbers because his daughter overdosed and died mm -hmm. from drugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So because it's a, you know what I mean? It's like it always but depends on the judge. What I feel like also, it's just like, it's all these organizations, all these organizations is against the black person. That's true. There's no organization out there that is like truly helping us, know. but some of us helping ourselves. I only know one. And that's what? The, um, I believe it's called the N NCAAP. Even the NCAAP, and everything's corrupt right now. With America, as I see it, everything's corrupt. You, you get what so? I'm saying? You know, if you somebody, if you have a last name and somebody they know, if it's by no, you know, association. 
That's true. You what I'm saying? I think true. a lot of There's things lot by of association things. because yeah. the way that judge um, hugged her was kind of crazy and the way that they, like, I just felt like, you know, she walked in his home and she shot him and she got away with it. So what does that mean for us? Cops can just come in our home, shoot us and get away with it to say, to say that they made the mistake. And it's not even about color. It's about just people in general. You could be in your home and somebody can shoot you and you can get away with it. That's not crazy, right? Not a citizen. That's crazy, right? I mean, we've seen it for a cop, but I mean, I'm pretty sure we've seen a lot of situations with a citizen and it didn't, they don't work out the same way. It might not work out the same way, but at the end of the day, if you're chilling in your home and you're eating food and you're comfortable in your home, you don't, you're not worried about none of that. No, you're not. Unless you're in that type of setup. So at the end of the day, that's just how I feel about that. You get what I'm saying? I didn't want to talk about Takashi 69, but it just, I didn't want to because I was like, we're not talking about it. But it's just the same thing. He gets out of jail and he takes down a trail of black men. It's like, y'all black men. So do y'all think that y'all public enemy number one? I have to say, for me, I, I'll take it that way. Because I'm mean, looking at the case, and I got a boy, I got a homeboy. He's like a Takashi Six Nine fan. Like every time I meet up with him, it's something about Takashi Six Nine. Okay, you download a song on my phone or something. So I've been reading up on it, and I'm like, yo, this dude, like before and the after, like this dude, like yo, it's crazy. It's crazy, and he's like telling it all. He's like, yo, I ain't get initiated. Do you think the question like, is? Do you think that? The black man is public enemy one. No matter if you take him down, it's okay. But if you try to rise him up, then it's a problem. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's 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 what we've seen it multiple times. So when do we stop? When do we say something? Because right now I see a lot of channels like BET and different places like Joe Budden and everybody got certain people representing us, but they ain't touched the ground yet. You get what I'm saying? They ha they don't go back to the hood. So how could you change something without going back to the to the hood? It originates from the hood, you know? That's true. That's true. So, whatever. Let's, let's get off of that. Okay, so where do you see yourself in five years? Where I see myself in five years? Um, I see myself financially stable, bottom line, period. Mm -hmm. Out of everything, regardless, like, I just see myself financially stable in five years. I'm the type of person that I'm always trying to figure out how to lay the foundation and how to keep everything, to make sure everything prospers. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because, it, you know, like we was just talking about, whatever the case is, we public enemy number one, or, you know, we trying to do something and they try and take us down, they try and stop us. So for therefore, even, and you saying like how we don't sit, stand up and say stop, just as much as we don't. Why do you think stop. we don't stand up and stay stop? We, we don't. We don't look at it to, because because honestly, as much as the conspiracy conspiracy theorists people you know that believe in Illuminati and secret societies, as much as they're crazy, they got logic to what they're saying, and it's the fact that there is a brainwashing going on. Where I really do see, think it's a brainwashing because, because at the end of the day, like, I mean to cut you off. Again, no, I'm cutting you off. Go ahead, honey. I look at I look at it like this. You see the Chinese. They. Stay in neighborhoods, they whatever cases they always employ each other. Can I stop you right there? I want to let everybody know if you did not know. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the Chinese have taken over Jamaica? Jamaica is not even the same. And then I heard that you know you guys own Florida for all y'all y'all food. So we really, as a black place, we not separate no more. Everybody going through it. Everybody's bought out. When do we say stop? When do we say stop? When do we start supporting each other, you know, the minorities of all different shades? You get what I'm saying? You know, everybody, like for me, black person is the most multiracial person because you can find a black person anywhere. They might not speak the same language as you. You get what I'm saying? But there's always a person that's your color somewhere. That's right. Okay, that doesn't mean because you, they say you Spanish, but if you dark as me, you black. You get what I'm saying? Or, oh, you Dominican, no, you're black. It's, it's like you're still dark. You get what I'm saying? We're the yeah, multicultural right. person. Right. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And it's a lot of us. And I feel like the, they try to separate us. Yeah. Or we do more of like a, um, 
like a like we want to show that we this and we that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But while we doing that and separating ourselves, we're really falling as a culture. Like this right now, a boy got shot in his home, and Martin Luther King or anybody else was out. They would have stopped. This would have been shut down. You get what I'm saying? People want to want to protest, and we are just so lazy, and we are just so into ourselves that we don't even care. We don't care because it, it didn't happen to me. Yeah, and then another thing is, um, I see that a lot of people will will. Um, I see that like when I look at things on the internet. And I see how people are posting about it and they're speaking their opinions or whatever the case is, or they're saying this and that, whatever the case is. It looks like protest, but I'm sitting there and I'm looking like y'all not protesting the right way. Y'all not speaking up and, 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 and trying to get y'all message out the right way. Y'all out letting out through a Facebook. Even if you're not protesting like you know and, you know, you don't care. I really don't, like, people need to get back in into community. You get what I'm saying? That is so important. Like, today, uh, my daughter had a track meet today. Um, MLK and she won they won but it was just like you know people just people are not supporting the community no more they just sending their kids off they don't care nobody's really in the community trying to be involved you get what I'm saying everybody's just ready to they getting ready to just take a picture yeah that's where we're at right now. As long as I got the freshest picture right now, I'm lit. Yeah. Not about what's going on at home. Not about what's going on with your kid. Not about anything. The only thing right now that people are focused on is looking lit. They will spend thousands of dollars of looking lit instead of spending thousands of dollars on trying to make their community better. You get what I'm saying? There's many things that we can do for our community and our kids. We can do little, like, you know, back in the day, people used to have, like, little um, drill teams. You know, we can invest, put somebody together, say we're going to all put our money together and make a drill team for the kids of Hartford or a basketball team or a football team or something like that without asking for an organization to do it. Yeah. That's the thing, because once we get our organization in there, guess what? We, we, we don't have no, we can't call the shots, you know? So, you know, that's, let's get off of that topic. Did y'all see the BET Awards and um, Little Kim? I didn't. I was a, I missed it. So. It's all right. It was all right. You know I, mean? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to. It was all right. I usually watch right. it on the side. Though. I wanna she did a very good job. Yeah. Um, it showed Nikki copied her a lot of ways. I just hope Nikki don't copy her really too much because um, um, Little Kim look kind of different. You know, um, like shots, did she? I know that I see a little clip of the, of the cipher, and they have put like a little. Did she really rap that Who? short? Lil Kim in the cipher? Or did she actually rap, or did she just spit that? Little, I didn't watch the whole thing. Watch the I just watched Little Kim do okay. her little thing. Because so. I know that she. Because I don't really cipher. like to watch BT like that. Because it ain't black entertainment no more. They own my white like, people, yeah. so I only go selective on that. When I seen Little Kim, I was yeah. like, oh, all right, she yeah. did her thing. Because like, no, because I seen um um. You know, because I'm I'm a rapper. Mm -hmm. So one thing I do, you watch the cipher. I will watch the cipher. But I stop you know watching the ciphers because they get cornier and cornier. Yeah. But see, you know, that's why I only watch certain ciphers. Certain other ciphers, like you know, they, exactly what you say, they corny. But like um, Griselda was up there. I watched them. Like Shady Records, they were up there. I watched them. Uh, Jada Kiss and D Block, they went up there. Mm -hmm. I watched them. Um, I think um, uh, Kendrick Lamar and. Um, uh, Schoolboy Q and Absol and J Rock all went on. I watched them. You feel me? But anybody. How do you think? Who you think was good out of them? Who was you feeling? Or was it just like the same storyline? You um, get what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, no, but you know, I'm just saying. As far as who was tough out of it, you knew so many I people. I want to know who was the hottest, the truth rapper, because at the end of the day, for me, like I know what Jadis gets going. He gonna say what I love, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, t I want something new. For me, for me, for me, the, I felt like the Griselda. Griselda. I felt like Griselda did they thing. It was raw. It was raw. All right. It was raw. All right. It was very, very raw, and it was, and you know how sometimes like. They go to do the cipher, they be worried about swearing and shit. They, ain't even to swear. they, took, they gave it to you raw, exactly what it was, that's and that. they didn't censor nothing. And that's and I was like, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And already, just you look at the material and music, they, everything is raw about it. Do you think hip hop is is changed or or hip hop has hip hop right now has no boundaries? I feel like hip hop is going through like a, a um 
metamorphosis, if you understand what I'm saying. I feel like there's no, two... No, what's metaphor? You know what metamorphosis like, means? I feel like Don't try to act like you sit nah, over there like... that's why I asked you, you feel me? I'm saying, I feel like there's two sides of hip-hop, mm -hmm. and we basically going at each other because you got that fake hip hop, right, that right, fabricated, right, and then you got yeah, the real hip hop. And you got these real rappers that are sitting here saying, man, let's get all these I think it's three stages of hip hop because you got the you got the hood part of the hip hop, yep, the hood. Yep. Then you got like the clowns, you, you know, the yeah, clown yeah, hip hop, like Fugazi, Fugazi, so, Fugazi. Yeah, 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 and then you got these one dudes. One the now, ones. That's that part. Yeah. And then the other part, you got. The dudes that you know is deep, is conscious, and then you got the ones that's not saying nothing, but they sound conscious. Right, so it's right. like, yeah, what yeah. is going on? Yeah. Like, long as that they be like, for no, 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 no. And wait, they ride the beat, but they ain't saying no. He's sitting there, but like, what the heck is he rapping about, yeah. though? It yeah. sounds good. No, yeah. It's put together good, but yeah. it's no concept. It's like yeah, a, a full, yeah. it's a sandwich, but with no hamburger. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's like, it's missing side. That's right. You know, I do I you think that has lost its way. Hip hop has lost its journey. Like, there's no. No, no, no direction in hip hop. Um, no, there isn't. It's because, open. It's like for I everybody. Feel like, yeah, because yeah, I feel like yeah, because yeah. one day we'll have oh, because oh, one man. day we'll have some 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 you know one, uh, one day we'll have some conscious shit being the biggest record out right now, and then next minute we'll have some like you said fugazi or fake shit as we one of the hottest records out right we now. We don't you know have. Like, it's just. Anybody can hit number one at this yes. hip hop game. Yes. Anybody can hit number one. Right and it now. don't matter what it is. And it don't matter what it is. It can it can be There's no standards, there's no value. No. As long as they and then and that's what the, how to work with the record labels. They see that as an opportunity that this is gonna be big and they just use the rapper as the vulture to create number Yeah, one. because they said that not this whole bunch of Kashi game, but they said he got a whole record deal. He about to come I just heard about it. Yeah, I, just, I was like, yeah. this is gonna be crazy and this is sad. <laughs> Did you read the article? Because I read, I read it, like Tell I went me, into they it. They said he gonna, they feel like he gonna be back. If he is back yeah, to where he need to be, yeah. I'm, I, everybody, I, I am done they with said, this hip hop. Yeah, he he I'm not listening to hip hop no yeah. more because you know what we have it's done, all. turn into crack babies. Which, because this is crazy. If y'all were allowed to do, like, if his record is played at the club, people should be like, no. They should not dance at all. I don't care how drunk you is. I don't care how, whatever. If they play his song at the club, people should know it's a no. Yeah. It's a no. You don't dance. You don't do nothing. You boo the yeah. DJ. DJ should be regulated with this. They shouldn't be able to force it in our ears. You know what I'm saying? If they play that dude on a certain radio, you should be able to call up and be like, don't play that dude no more. Post that on a person thing because they trying to play the hood. They trying to play us. They trying to be like, oh, they try. What they're really saying is people are everybody's crazy because when because he's gonna come out here and he's gonna be all right. No. And they're talking about everybody because the people that listen to the radio, you're part of that too. So that's just crazy. It's a lot of me messery going on in hip hop. Yeah, it's just, it's... Have y'all watched Joe Button show? Yo, your button show is so corny. I don't like it because I, I feel like he's hating on everybody that come through. I don't even feel like I couldn't even get to where he's saying because I look at Remy and I'm like, Remy, why your face not moving? You want to know? Like, and then I'm looking at um him and he's just so like this and want to talk like this and then that's just like I don't get what's going on. They Joe, trying to like the culture. Joe Button lost me when he um when he started arguing with Lil Yachty. That was when he lost me, because he, he was arguing with him about, because Lil Yachty said, what he said? He said, I'm happy all the time, because I guess the way his life's going. And he said, dude, there's no way you could be happy 24 seven. It's like, leave a man alone. Like, he probably like, is happy all the time. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, how, you, how are you to sit here and tell him what, him about himself? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, when I saw that, I'm just like, Joe, you be bugging. Like, you in the, I felt like right there, then and there, because remember, um, he was already talking about like new rappers coming in the game. He was already bashing them. And then he talks to Lil Yachty. He has a chance to get on a common level with them. And then he straight up just does that. Not to mention, he understood how he offended the Migos when he did that at the BET Awards. I think that Joe talks shit is everybody. It's a person. Like, people that just talk junk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's just an old guy. But the reason why I, I like it, the raw him. I don't like that new show. But they just look all like, it looked like they trying to go for the real. But it's too like like it, it just give you a different vibe. Like they trying, trying, trying to represent us more than tell us what's going on. Like they represent right, us. Right. This is what the black people think. And some of the things that we saying don't be 
whatever our people think. It's like, it's like just like that other show that they have with T.I. and all of them, and they talk about black thing. That's not what we think, though. Because I would not vote for Bernie Sanders. I would not vote for certain people that they say that I would vote for. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't forget to vote. Um, don't we have our voting coming up? Somebody told me that we it was finished, but don't we still have to vote in September for a mayor, or that's over? Mm, I, I don't even Everybody, know. this is I sad. Don't even know. I, I, Nobody I, I, don't I know when to vote actually, around I here. I know it was like September 10th. You feel me? I know like Brandon McGee. He was one. Uh, he was like in front of Capitol Community College. He had like a whole team of like young black like. Entrepreneurs, people that go but to is school. It, is it, can you still vote November? for mayor I thought they in November? November. Yeah, yeah, I think, November. I think, All right, because yeah, people told me that I kind of vote. I'm like, listen, like, this is how crazy, like, Hartford is. This yeah, Connecticut it's, it's is. Everybody want to know everything, but yeah. niggas don't know nothing. But like, the actual facts, we don't know. So, if we can vote and vote somebody in, y'all, let's need to let's vote somebody in. Let's be more invested in our community and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? That's very important, you know? Like, if we invest in our community, we can have better things. Um, What about mass incarceration? How do y'all feel about that? That's a big problem. That's a very big problem. A giant problem. And it, it really it, is a big problem. I feel like, um, I feel like, um, there's a lot of, um, they're not looking into it a lot. They're not paying attention to it. They're, we're we're paying attention to a lot of national problems, but the mass incarceration thing is one. You can't, you know, it's hard to call the news on the poll. I mean, on a on a jail and have them go and investigate in there and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, how many times I've seen people try and launch investigations on a jail or mass incarcerations or, or cause awareness and it just, it just what well, got me you know stuck know? about mass incarceration mass incarceration is that it's like down south if your kid is bad at five year old and he hit a teacher or something happens he goes to jail yeah. they bring little yeah. kids yeah. to jail yeah. so now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, so they bring kids to jail, and then here we do juvenile, so we bring kids to jail, and then, you know, then they start giving them medication. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, like, now we creating mental health. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you're giving, the medication is pure cocaine. Yeah, you're If you look at it, it's a drug. Yeah, yeah. You know, Especially anybody that's giving their kids medicine, medicine, you know, yeah. I'm a strong believer that, you know, medicine is not always the key. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because it's basically cocaine and uh, no cardiac. So there's no need to give that to a baby, you know. And kids are kids. You not fully develop into, yeah. like, an adult. Sometimes when you're 20 years old, you don't really make the same good, good mistakes. You, give it, you know, you yeah. still make mistakes and yeah. good, bad, whatever. So it's just like people are getting arrested when they get arrested or if they go to the army after they go to the army or they get arrested they are put back in the street when you stop all that they was doing for a while and then they're put back in the street and be like oh go ahead there's no help for them there's a lack of help for people that um were incarcerated or um in the army what do y'all think about that yeah that was that's another thing too because they trying to you know um what the veterans is fighting to yeah. get benefits right now. Yeah. They fight. They've been like fighting for huge. years. They had to set up a whole wounded warrior project. Have people donate. Yeah, but people you know need. What, what, what about the people that's in jail that came out? You got people that was sitting in jail for six months, ain't had their case heard yet, yeah. and yeah. then they say, "Oh, you not guilty," mm. and they get, put them out in the street. And they're supposed to start from the bottom, and there's no resources yeah. that can help them, None. knowing that they're not going to get a job easily. You get what I'm saying? No people going to shut them down. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Knowing that everything's, like, messed up at this point. Mm -hmm. How do we um, restable the hood? Far as that, you get what I'm saying? Because what they do is a lot of them go to drugs, or while they was in there, they wasn't strong enough to stay in there for a while, you know. So they take drugs to sleep it away. There's many a times where people be like, "Oh, I'm about to just take these, this drug to sleep these six months, two months away." You feel me? So I go home, you know. So <laughs> at the end of the day, we create and like when they start saying, "Oh, the hood is the mental health" or whatever, I really say like mental health is created because it's forced in our kid's mouth is forced and anybody else, if your kid's not behaving or if you're not behaving maybe you need a pill for it yeah that's true 
I've, I've heard that before. And if you don't want to give the pill to your kid, then sometimes they might get resources in there to force you to give the pill to your kid because they can control yeah. Yeah. the kids or they can't control whatever you got, which whatever you're going through. And it's so easy for them to do it because they sit there and they say, this is what they're doing and this is the symptom. So that it, it must be this. You know what I'm saying? It's right, like, that's right. not what it is. I'm not out of the time. Yeah. I'm here. All right, I'm about to end this out there. All right, so, yeah, so, you know, everybody, you know, it's about to be winter time coming up. It's getting cold. If you got some extra stuff, you don't need to, like, wait till somebody say, oh, donate it here. If you see somebody cold or something, just give them the jacket or give them some food or, you know, help out because, you know, we don't help each other and then we don't got nobody, right? True. Right. All right, so let's go with the rap. Got song. So you know they extra new because they they want to rap. Usually when I ask people that is rappers that come in, they should be like, oh, I can't rap. Like, do you know they fresh? Is they happy to rap or the songs that they have? They ready to perform? So let's hear your song. And I'm just thankful. If you need some clothes, make sure you check out Future Glass. Um, I want to shout out everybody that supports me, my 192 subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all share. Please press the like button. Also, press the like button. It's very important. Because if you don't press the like, if you don't share, that means that y'all just, just, just y'all don't want to see me. Y'all don't want a hard friend on the map just to come up. Anybody can come. Anybody that has something that they want to do, come hit me up. The Juicy on IG, The Juicy, hit me up and I'm gonna get to you. We're gonna make it happen. This is a platform for everybody in Connecticut. We talk about different things and you show what you do. Go ahead. So, yeah, this is a little joint I did. I did this joint a while back, but you know what I'm saying? I, I decided to re put it out and represent it back out. It's on Apple, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Tidal. Uh, Amazon Music, Spotify, it's on all those platforms so you can get this song. It's called Back on My BS. You know what I'm saying? I did this. I made the beat myself. I produced it, whatever the case is. So this is raw talent, all from me. So you know what I'm saying? Right? Oh, don't it, worry, I'm going to edit it. Right, now we connect it. Right, now we connect it. And we're going to end the juicy show with this right now. <sighs> See the masterpiece, never gonna get to work Cause you're always dragging feet I send them on in the straight suckers, they all lame In the group of them real niggas, they never hang I take a puff of the good shit Can you smell it? International shit, homie Can you spell it? I learn the letters all by myself Fast learning, I put the books With the money scheme, fast earning Y'all lock the shit down with an iron fist Man, the way I spit the words, I'm a fucking scientist Living fucking life for this, just to get the finest shit I know what the truth is Alright, thank you for coming to the Juicy Show you can find the song on iTunes, Spotify, uh, uh, Amazon, you know what I'm saying? All those platforms right there, you find it all there. Yep. Check them out. Tell me your name again. G Smith, G S M I T. But all you got to do is put in G S M I T on all platforms in your box. All right, tell them now. Facebook, Kennedy Aquiliano. C O A A T C I A K O O. And this is the juice. Ju this is the juice show. This is the juice show. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And this is about Connecticut Heartbreak. Support your local artists. Bring them on your platform. It don't matter. Let them shine. Thank you for watching.